Just a quick message before the episode gets underway. I want to let you know that there is an opportunity to sponsor the RG10 podcast. More about this at the end of the episode, so keep listening. Welcome to the RG10 podcast, brought to you by the people behind RG10 magazine. The aim is to bring you interviews, information and entertainment. In fact, anything interesting that's relevant to living around here. The only thing better than singing is more singing. So said Ella Fitzgerald, and it's a quote that you'll find on the website of Twyford Singers. It's their 60th anniversary this year, and they have a series of celebrations planned. For example, if you're listening to this episode the week it goes out, then you should know that this coming Sunday, the 10th of April, that's Palm Sunday of course, they'll be having an Easter concert at 7pm at St Mary's Church. A couple of weeks ago I popped down to hear them rehearsing and spoke to some of the members, starting with Sue Corcoran. Well, it started in 1962 when there was a business in Twyford called Anne's Pantry and it was decided that they would start the Twyford and District Choral Society and Anne's husband, in fact, was the first conductor. And their first uh, concert was the following Easter when they sang with the choir from St Lawrence uh, Church in Reading and they sang the Messiah. We've still got somebody actually living in Twyford who is a founder member. He's 90 now and a lot of people know him, Ted Wallington. And he was, well, is a wonderful bass singer and he still sings with choir members when they go in to visit him. Uh, He's a lovely chap. And the Messiah actually is his favourite piece to sing. So that was back in the 60s. What has happened since then? How has uh, Twyford Singers progressed? Um, Well, we've done a huge range of um, different pieces of music, um, classical, Bach and Mozart and Handel and Haydn. Uh, We've done um, more modern pieces. um, As part of our 60th anniversary um, celebrations, um, we uh, have held um, a a composition competition. So the um, musicians from all over the country were invited to take part in this competition and they had to write a song on the theme of hope, joy and celebration. I mean, we all felt it's a great celebration. We're all hoping for a really uh, much better future than we've had in the last two years. And so we got loads of entries, which is lovely. Um, They've now been whittled down to three entries. And at our summer concert on June the 25th in Lodden Hall, we'll be singing those three pieces on the shortlist. And there'll be a panel of um, erudite musicians who will then decide which is the winner. And our um, audience will be able to decide as well what they think. But I'm afraid their vote won't count on this occasion. (laughs) What kind of people come along to Twyford Singers? What kind of level of competence, I suppose? I was here uh, this evening and I saw everyone seemed to be reading from music. Everyone seemed to really know what they were doing. And, I, you know, I, over the years I've, I've fancied myself as a bit of a singer. I've done a bit of music. But I was a bit overawed, a bit daunted, if you like, thinking, oh, my goodness me, I, I don't know if I could, I could cope with this. Was I wrong to feel daunted? What would you say? I would say you were wrong to feel daunted. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might say that. <laughs> because, you see, we're not required to read music, so you, you won't be given a score and be expected to sing it straight off. Some people can, and that's fine and lovely, but we have lots of help to be able to learn the music. Uh, we've got a very good conductor who gets the best out of us. That's Helen Stiles, your Helen musical Stiles, director. Yeah. That's right. And she's very good at explaining how to improve it and sort of just making it live. Uh, she's very good.
We've also got a very good accompanist, uh, Judith Crichton, and she just knows when we want the odd little note thrust our way so that we hook into the beginning of a bit of music or we get stuck in the middle, you can think, ah, oh, there's Judith. Um, so really, uh, and as you go along, you do get better at it and, and it becomes easier. What do you think people who come to Twyverting is, what do they get out of it, would you say? Um, you do get the joy of singing, which is lovely, and singing with other people. They're a very nice crowd, to be yeah. honest, and we have a nice social life as well. Um, we're having a, a dinner to celebrate our 60th anniversary. Um, people um, become friends and just have a nice social time together. Some of us go walking, some of us drink coffee, taste wine, all sorts of things. So <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to sing when you're drinking wine, although afterwards it's a lot easier. Afterwards is probably a good idea, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and I, I came here this evening after, you know, a, a bit of a, a stressful day, just sat down and just sitting down and listening to you all sing. It was incredibly relaxing. I presume, uh, do you get the same kind of sensation when you're singing yourselves or are you, are you kind of thinking, ooh, I better get this right and not let everyone else down? Well, I suppose... At the beginning of the uh, season when you're actually practicing for a concert you think I'm never going to get this but then you do we also have um, these magic uh, files on our website where we can hook into that and practice at home and then magically improve by the next week so you know it, we do <laughs> you do get to that point where there is something very lovely about all singing together it's, it's super I'm Celia Reinbolt, I live in Twyford and I'm secretary of the Twyford Singers. So it is the 60th anniversary this year. There are a variety of special events going on. One being on Palm Sunday, April the 10th. That is correct. Marvellous. Tell me a bit about it. Well, we have three main concerts in the year, but our Palm Sunday concert uh, is probably the most reflective of our concerts because obviously it is a a fairly sombre time uh, and this year we're singing um, pieces that go from the 8th century through to the 20th century. So we're starting with um, a new arrangement by a previous conductor or uh, musical director of Twyford Singers called Simon Rigby and it is called Gloria Laus et Honor in Latin, um, but it is also in English a very well-known hymn, All Glory, Lord and Honour to the Redeemer King, uh, which is sung in churches throughout the country on Palm Sunday. How much effort, work, practice, call it what you want, goes into getting a piece like this ready, would you say? Quite a bit of work. We have quite a few rehearsals uh, and we do have uh, what's called practice files on our website so that anybody can access them, any member of the choir can access them and use them to rehearse at home, hopefully, <laughs> as well as going over them in rehearsals in the church. Um, Helen Stiles, our musical director, um, is great fun to sing with, but she wants or and she wants us to be as good as we can be so we practice a lot and when we're actually performing and when we're giving a concert it's wonderful to be aware of how everybody is basically watching her which we very often don't during rehearsals <laughs> <laughs> she's always complaining about that and we are singing as one and it's it's wonderful. It's really good. Do you get those, uh, you know, pre-gig jitters and nerves? Uh, yes, I think people do feel a little bit nervous beforehand because obviously we're, we're singing in front of people. And I think particularly now, after two years of not singing, it's quite interesting to think, oh my goodness, we're actually six standing here and singing and there's an audience. But it, it's lovely because you... You want to sing to somebody, and sometimes you just fix somebody, you see somebody and you think, I'm singing to you, and it's a, it's a wonderful feeling. Finally then, when people do come to the Palm Sunday concert, what kind of 
experience do you think they'll have? Sell it to me. I hope that they will appreciate the, the singing, that it's going to be of a reflective nature. We've worked very hard and members come from all faiths, all parts of the locality. And when we sing, it's, it's from the heart because we have worked so hard and we want everybody to appreciate what we're feeling, which is the great pleasure of being able to sing to an audience music that we really love. That was Celia Einbold and Sue Corcoran from Twyford Singers. And you can learn more about their 60th celebrations at twyford-singers.org.uk or at facebook.com slash twyfordsingers. Thanks so much for listening to the RG10 podcast. We're now into the fifth series of the show. We've been going two years. We're nearing a half century of episodes. And I'd love to give a massive thanks to our loyal local listeners. And it's because our listeners are so loyal and so local that makes us such an attractive proposition for sponsors. If you're interested in sponsoring an episode or even the whole show, then we'd love to hear from you. Finally, if you do have any thoughts about who or what we can include in future episodes, then please do let us know via the rg10mag.com website or on any of our various social media channels. Thanks for listening and goodbye.